Welcome to this question where we have a person who has $80,000 that he wants to invest. Now, he has chosen a 9% annual yield, let's call it a safe investment. Maybe he will buy a flat, he will buy a house, something that is safe and will give him like 9% of his money as annual invest. And he have another option, he has another option which yield 13% risky investment. The question is how much he should invest in each of these funds if he would like to earn 8,000 per year. So if we go back to this question and we analyze it a little bit, so we will start with $80,000 and now we have two fund. Now we have the first fund which be is 9% per year, and this is what we call it the safe one. And we have another fund which yield 13% and this is the risky one. So we have two options to put the money. So you need to divide the money, you put something here and you put something here and then you check how much you will get as investment from each one of them. Now, what should we write in the first one? I don't know, we will just write an X. Now, if we put an X here, how much is the remaining? Well, the total is 80,000. Some of them goes here, which is X, the rest will go here. So the rest will be just 80,000 minus the X. Next step is to find how much interest I will get. So the interest, which is how much money I will get. Now, if you have X here, and this is the rate, you just have to multiply them with each other. Now, the 9%, remember the 9% is exactly the same as 0.09, you divide it by 100. And the 13% is 0.13. So the interest will be 0.09, times x, and the other interest will be 0.13 times this amount here, which is 80,000 minus x. And that's what he should get. Now, according to the question, he would like that all this to be equal 8,000. So if we add this plus this, we should get 80,000 per year. So if I go to the next page, what we have so far, we have 0.09x plus 0.13 equal 8,000. And here we have 80,000 minus x. Next step, we need to distribute the 13. So just multiply. 13 by 8,000, use your calculator, the answer will be just 10,400. Now, if we multiply 0.3 with minus x, it will be negative 13x, and the other side is just 8,000. What we will do next is we will add 0 0.09 minus 0 0.13. If we do that, the answer would be negative 0.04x. Now, if we take this one to the other side, it will go with a negative sign. So it will be 8,000 minus 10,400, which is the same if we do it with the calculator as 2,400.04x. What we need to do next, we need to divide everything by the number that is with x. So we have 0.04x equal negative 2,400. Now all what you need to do is divide by this number. So 0.04, negative 0.04. Of course, now we have cancellation. So we just get x. Now, if we write this one in the calculator, the answer would be just 60,000. 60, of course, 
you need to put the sign of the dollars. So you just have to write dollars. And that's the answer for the value for the X. So if we go back to summarize what happened, we started with 80,000. In the safe investment, the one with the 9%, we bought 60,000. The remaining, we should put them in the other one, which is 20,000. And that's the 13%, or we call it the risky investment. And that's the final answer. Of course, we don't forget the dollar sign that is in dollars.